Hi, I'm Karen Moore, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about India Song, which is work that I've been doing since 2008. I took a trip, a road trip of 2,000 miles with a friend across Rajasthan and uh, saw the interiors that I wanted to come back and photograph over the next 10 years. And I returned every year to India uh, to photograph these interiors after a lot of negotiation and planning and getting permission to photograph them. I would photograph the interiors separately uh, from the animals in order to get the quality and to show the beauty of the architecture, which is a combination of Greek, Hindu, and Muslim styles beautifully done with embedded jewels sometimes and embedded miniature paintings. And I'd like to talk a little bit about a photograph called The Opium Smoker, which is to my right, uh, I guess to your left, of a peacock in a very beautiful blue turquoise room. And that title is inspired by a miniature on the wall of a princess smoking opium. So what fascinated me about India was here were these buildings with images that both alluded to myth and story, like the Ramayana or the Maharabhata, but also about everyday lives of the aristocracy. I'm going to be talking about Munagatari, recent work that I've done in Japan, in Kyoto, in Obain Temple, in the bank of Uchi complex. I was invited by the head priest, Tagen Kobayashi, to make work in Obain, which is the birthplace of the inventor of the Japanese tea ceremony. And it was a great privilege to be able to do this because normally photographs are not allowed. So what I did was photograph the interiors there, which are very simple, even when they're just gold walls barely any details except the tatami mats. And I photographed the temple and then later inserted birds that I found in the area that I photographed separately. And they conjure up yokai, ghosts, uh, dances, also around the white, using the white crane, which is a big figure in uh, Japanese storytelling, which figures also in their theater as well. There's a dance of the crane. So these are like spirits and presences because those Buddhist temples are very much influenced by Shinto as well. So there's a bit of Shinto and the spirit of nature in the interiors. These two screens are part of my work called Monagatari that I've been making since 2012 where I've been journeying to Japan again once or twice a year to uh, Kyoto and Tokyo especially but I've also visited other cities. In this case I really wanted to do screens because I was aiming for an exhibition during Kyoto Daki and also I had been invited by a priest to make work in a Buddhist temple and to invited to display my work in this Buddhist temple for a month. So it was very important that they work somehow as screens or objects. I decided on screens after having, an, having abandoned the idea of a lacquer trays, which I originally thought I would make with the photographs embedded in them. But thanks to uh, family and, uh, uh, and artisans that we met that weren't really interested in making lacquer frames, we then one day by accident fell across this other artisan in front of Daikofuji, the temple complex where the images were made, who called Hayendo, who was very interested in the challenge of embedding a photograph in screen, and consequently made work 